Jacob Whitley with the Carpet Beaters. Did you know that carpet cleaning isn't just a simple service? It's also a science. Chemistry, to be exact. Now, I'm no chemist, but we here at the Carpet Beaters are experts in carpet cleaning chemistry. Let me put on my lab coat and we'll go over a few things. Now, the reason you want to use detergents when cleaning a carpet is because the detergent attacks the soil and creates what's called a miso. Detergents have positive and negative molecules in them, and when applied to the soil, they attack the opposite positive and negative molecules, causing them to release from the carpet and attach themselves to the detergent. We then come in with our carpet cleaning tool and with hot water extraction, we rinse and suck out that water so we can take it home with us. As you can see here, the carpet has been treated with a pre-spray solution and now our tool is extracting the now loose soil from the carpet using hot water at a high powered vacuum. Just like magic. Let's take a quick look at an example we call surfactant. We have a bowl of water where it'll act as our clean surface and we're going to add a little dirt. This is uh, just some pepper that my wife will miss. She hates pepper, so. Just a little bit. Wow, well, look at that dirty carpet. Now we're gonna take our pre-spray solution, which is uh, the detergent that has the positive and negative molecules that are gonna interact with these positive and negative molecules in the dirt. The positive and negative molecules in the dirt are gonna find themselves attracted to the detergent and it's gonna release from the surface. Just a little bit. Science. Now, it's important to remember that not all spots and stains are the same. It takes a strong understanding of the chemistry of the carpet and knowing what the spot is so the correct process can be applied without damaging delicate fibers. And that's it for today. Just remember, carpet cleaning isn't just a common service. It's a science.